Hi everyone, this is Sean Lim, founder of BotCamp. You might remember me as the designer of this super simple 3D printable face shield um, that we designed together with Michael Guerin, Toronto East General Hospital. Um, we're happy to say that we have successfully delivered our 10,000th face shields to the hospital and um, it was a very successful campaign but while that's been going on I've been working on a project with the doctors there on helmet ventilation and so these are plastic helmets that are worn um, over the head they're airtight and then there is an input for air and oxygen uh, with a filter and there's an output where when you breathe out the air can escape where there's also a filter um, and the helmet is pressurized. And so the difficulty with these COVID-19 patients is that their oxygen levels in their bodies are falling extremely low. And no matter what we do, uh, we're having a lot of difficulty bringing them back up. When they drop to a certain level, um, the doctors there are forced to intubate and hook them up to a ventilator. And so that's one of the reasons why we're running low on ventilators. Um, and intubation itself is a very, very invasive process. Um, and so this helmet is actually used before you require intubation and ventilation as another method, a really effective method actually, uh, in getting a patient's oxygen levels back up. The difficulty is that these helmets, they exist, people are making them, but they're very, very difficult to come by. Uh, the sources are basically out um, and so what I have worked on is actually getting a product which is readily available and so we're gonna actually start with one of these this is actually a protector for your leg for when you're in the shower or in the bath it is waterproof and um, it's actually large enough one that instead of slipping it over your leg it will actually slip over your head and so what we're going to do is we're actually going to take a brand new one and take it right out of the box and I'm going to make one of these ventilation helmets for you just to show you the process. But right out of the box we have this nice blue ring and then this is a flexible rubber seal that we're eventually going to slip over our head. This is the part that goes around your neck and it will create a nice little seal to keep everything nice and airtight. Already attached to it is a very nice bag. <clears throat> and so that's normally what you would stick your leg in. But what we've done actually is we have created a set of 3D printed fittings. And so this is what the air hoses are gonna hook up to. And the fittings have a little groove in them right around here. And also on the nut here, there's a little groove. And what those do is they'll clamp into the bag and create an airtight seal. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and find our bag here. And I'll find an area close to the front of it, just where my finger is, where I'd like to put the fitting. Pinch it nice and tight. Give it a little twist. But what we're going to do is we're going to first cut a hole so that these fittings can snap through. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pinch a little bundle here. And then after I've pinched it and twisted it, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pinch it as tight as I can. And I'm going to cut a half inch just off the top of this little tiny bit that I pinched off here. Don't worry, you don't have to be exact, but I'll go ahead and that's about half an inch right there. I'll go ahead, snip that. And then what I've done is, of course, I've completely ruined the bag because I have now just cut a hole right into it. It's not super precise, but that hole is right there. Okay, I'm gonna take one end of my 3D printed fitting. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in and we'll thread it through that hole. And don't worry if the hole is a little bit bigger, if it's a little bit smaller, it, uh, the plastic will kind of wrap around it. <clears throat> but the fitting now pokes through the bag. And then we'll go ahead and we'll take the 3D printed nut and we'll just screw it on. It's threaded and you're gonna have to get this on really tight so that those grooves will basically bite into the bag and provide you with a nice airtight seal. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna twist that. Okay, and there you go. We've got a nice airtight fitting here, sticking out of the bag. Now we need two of these installed. One is supposed to go towards the air coming in and oxygen, and one will be for the exhaust. 
So we'll repeat the process again. I'll locate some area on the bag just on the other side. Alright, so the second fitting is on. So one for air coming in, one for air coming out. Last but not least, we're actually going to use some binder clips to help us keep this helmet secure. So how this works is the helmet, when it inflates, it tends to pop up and want to like rise upwards and off your head. So these binder clips, we're going to clip four of them on. And then what we'll do is we'll attach a strap that goes under the arm so that the helmet stays on. So we'll go ahead, we'll add a binder clip here, flip that down on the one side. All right, so basically it's mechanically done. We'll go ahead and put it on just to show you how this looks.